Hello, hello, and welcome to another Modern Stream. Today we're going to be having a sort of a delayed uh, Monday uh, Amulet stream, but uh, this is something that I've been willing to try uh, since uh, the past weekend. I talked about this in both podcasts, both in Titan Talk, which will be going out later today, and then we also talked about it in Mishra's Bubble with the special guest of Spire and Spike. Um, we discussed about the current state of the modern format and how uh, there are a couple of cards that are just very, very well positioned because of how the format is adapting. The format is very, very much a DRC um, Ragavan uh, format with either a Morktide uh, regent uh, side of things, which is one of the best decks in the format right now, or a little bit of a Monastery Swiss Spear angle instead. So because of that, I think that uh, Amulet needs to adapt and some drastic changes need to need to happen. I was thinking, and the biggest issue that both of those decks have is the fact that you you're basically hoping that your that your draw lines up in a specific way, and that draw needs to line up exactly against uh, your opponent's draw. Those decks have uh, two very specific angles of attack against us, which is uh, the Blood Moon aspect, uh, which is historically the best way to attack an amulet deck, and the other aspect is the um, kill you quickly aspect, okay? And they do so with, you know, DRC, uh, Ragavan, Monster Swiss Spear, or Morktide Regent. So that got me thinking, okay, what are the cards that actually work against both of those uh, strategies? And I went a little bit down the rabbit hole because, you know, I, I've seen people, I, I remember seeing Andrea uh, P Pagonti, Piagonti um, uh, bringing in Assassin's Trophy. But Assassin's Trophy has a couple of problems, which is number one, that it just sucks. Uh, <laughs> number two, that uh, it doesn't really function as a top deck, right? Like if you, even if you have your basic forest, if you top deck the, uh, the trophy after the fact, so after the Blood Moon is already in play, the trophy does absolutely nothing. And uh, number three, that it really, really sucks. Like, it's just a really bad card. So because it has those bad aspects to it, um, I, I, I'm I, going a little bit down the rabbit hole, but what I'm going to be trying today is going to be Broken Wings. This is um, not the best card that I put in my Amulet Cyborg, I will say. But uh, two and a green for an instant, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. It does answer the problems that we need to answer. <laughs> it's not efficient, it's not necessarily great, but it does answer the problems that we need to answer. So, I don't know whether this is going to be great, I don't know whether this is going to be terrible and embarrassing, but... Um, I'm willing to give it a shot, and this is exactly what uh, what, we're do, what we do here in this stream: is we try we try to, to 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 do some nonsense, and maybe randomly we will find that we arrive at the correct conclusion. Uh, the other card that has been impressing me a lot, uh, not so much in Amulet, but more so in the uh, Elementals deck, is Endurance. Endurance just lines up very well against Ragavan, lines up extremely well against the RC, and it also uh, does some uh, some work delaying Morktide region. All of that for only the, the very, very small cost of 3 mana, doesn't die to Lightning Bolt, has Flash, so you can play it on your opponent's turn and kind of mess with their with their groove. Um, Endurance just kind of does it all, and it's just like a very, very fine cyber card. I was very, very impressed by it in the Elementals deck, so um, let's give it a shot in, in Amulet as well. So let's see how things uh, line up. As far as the main deck goes, uh, in order to make room for all of the cyber guys that I wanted to try out, I finally decided to just cut the um, cut the abundant harvests, uh, which means that uh, we get to play the full play set of gracers in the main deck. This is not entirely a bad thing because you know everybody's playing the monkey and gracer kind of lines up well against the monkey. I don't think it lines up that well, honestly, because like the monkey decks, all of them have have something in common, which is their basically piles of removal so your monk your gracer will very very often just die to a lightning bolt or a fatal push or whatever they have at hand and the monkey will get through anyway but at least you will get a little bit of um of a tempo boost by uh, playing the land uh, a little bit ahead of schedule uh, besides that the other change is the main deck engineered explosives because of all the reasons that i literally just said like explosion one is fairly good right now and 
that's a, that's like a good idea to to play in the main deck. Other cards that I've been considering are Chalice of the Void, which we can play off C on zero against Living End and, and Rhino strategies and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like we, we can take the sideboard many many different ways. But I just thought that this is this is like a fine starting position, like a fine starting spot, and then we can take it from here. Um, but yeah, very experimental league that we're going to be playing right now. If you're enjoying the content, of course, as always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you for round number one, folks. Alrighty. Hell yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. Hell yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. Turn one forest into heritage druid. Second Battle Sand is not a bad draw because it allows me to develop my mana with these Explorers. I don't need some help because my opponent was on the play. If we had been on the play, like, I would be a lot more comfortable. But the Elves deck has the really, really bad habit of kind of exploding out of control real quickly. Maybe I should have even got a forest there. Well, that's interesting. So this guarantees Titan next turn, which is nice. I like a guarantee in Titan mana. Definitely, definitely in the business of guaranteeing Titan mana. Oh, hello there. Well, that's good. This allows me to play the Dryad here, play the Brooding Pool, and win the game next turn. Non-believers would mold this hand. Nah, this was just an overall amazing hand. What's up, Lex? How's it going? It's a lot of silly one ones. My opponent's got going on over there. Jeff Gat, welcome everybody for the stream. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, the stream has been kind of eclectic lately. Uh, a lot of things happening IRL, which are making stuff uh, awkward, but. Hopefully things will get sorted out. At least that's what I hope. Query on Ranger. opponent didn't do the query on ranger trick they should be able to regenerate their arch through it but they won't um so we're gonna play a bounce land bounce breeding pool replay breeding pool cast my primeval titan it should be enough to win the game i think I mean, not necessarily win the game right now, but like effectively win the game. Oh, because we drew the Dryad last turn. Dryad really is a heck of a drug. Heck of a drug. Kill that and send the rest face. And then we just explore and kill them. Uh, things are going well. Can't really complain too much. Kind 
only activate this once a turn. Been working so much the last uh, two weeks, so now I feel a bit off. Uh, it happens sometimes. Hope things get better. Um. Okay, uh, explosives, dismembers, and I think that's it. There's an argument for Piving Needle, the name is Suri. I don't know how I feel about it, I don't think I like it. Don't think I like it. This uh, this kind type of deck turns to, tends to bring stuff like damping sphere, which can be annoying sometimes. But I think I'm fine. Would I consider the Murktai deck to be the top of the meta right now? It's definitely tier one. How is modern going? People still complain about everything, asking for badges. <laughs> yes, but that is not modern. That is just Magic players. I think I'm keeping this hand. I think we go turn one Saga Amulet. Hoping to dodge Force of Vigor, hoping to dodge Reclamation Sage. Modern players, I think you can just make that magic players, period. Heritage, okay. Very, very good start for OP. Very, very good start. Strong. Quite, quite strong. So we're gonna go Sigil Amulet. Uh, Play another saga. So I can fetch for a breeding pool, and then that's gonna give me enough to transmute. But I'm, I still need one mana here, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm just gonna play another saga and play the expedition map. Play two mana, find another amulet. Uh, if I top the Titan, I'm winning anyway, right? Because I have triple amulet, I have the bounce land in hand. So top deck in triple Titan is not an argument. Uh, is that lethal next turn? That should be lethal next turn. If they top deck any creature, it's lethal. This is seven damage this turn. Seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're down to one. So I guess I'm gonna need a jumper. It's not a great draw though. Three, six, ten, twelve. Bam, I'm with the two and sub. Finally back with my deadly dose of amulet. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream, Bound Man. Thank you so much for the support. Happy to have you here. I think we play Castle. We use two mana and we make a token and we crack expedition map. Then next turn we get the fourth amulet. We're not gonna have enough, aren't uh, aren't we? Damn it, we're not gonna have enough. I think we're gonna be short. We're gonna have to top deck the Titan, which is what I wanted to dodge. But uh, my opponent put exactly enough pressure on me to force me into action.
If we do top deck the Titan, we're going to win though, so that's cool. Good old quadruple amulet will do that, you know. Uh, that means that I'm just dead, right? Because they just have those three elves to make three mana, plus one from the pit land, plus one from the... Yeah, that should be lethal. They have one, two, three, four attackers. That's 12 plus 10. That's 25. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm going to leave the card at the top, so maybe, I don't know, they will not see the line and they will get enticed to do something else. They're tanking. Three mana. Four, five, one and seize the line. Okay, um, I think I want to have access to this actually. Seems some spicy thing in the cyber. There, there is some real spice today. This is the spiciest list that I've played in a long time, I think. Sure. I'm keeping this hand mostly on the strength of uh, Engineered Explosives, I think. And I think we have more Bounce Lands than Blue Sources, so it's correct for me to go turn one Gracer into play the T-West Tapped. I'm going to move to six. We're fairly close to a Titan. Like most, most top decks are just good top decks, honestly. We also have some pretty good interaction as well. That is a primeval Titan. Can you please play some more one drops for me? That's not one drops. So my opponent's just not playing company? Is that a thing? Ugh, that's brutal. No land is a problem there. No land is definitely a problem. I don't think I want to play the explosives. I don't think it really makes sense yet. I think I, I need to extract more value from it. So Castle wins the game. So I guess they are playing Rex Age, huh? They are indeed playing Reclamation Sage. I can't explode this for three. So since I can't explode this for three, I think I'm just gonna explode this for one. And I guess I crack it right now to deny my opponent the one mana. I deny them one mana, but I give them two damage. It doesn't change the clock though. So I think I'm supposed to crack now. Not the best explosive I've ever cast against elves, gotta say. Well, that's what I wanted to stop them from doing. But... That is exactly what I wanted to stop them from doing, why I thought that it was correct to main phase that, but...
Also mismatching gross basics, the disrespect. The disrespect. How is the matchup against the prowess deck feel? No idea. This is my very first match with this list. Yeah, we're looking pretty dead now. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Woo! Yeah, we were never getting there. <laughs> we were never getting there. See you for the next round. Round number two. Yes, please. Playing against my fellow country countryman. Very, very likely playing a control deck because he always plays control decks, so. Oh, that's what we're doing. Just leaving the end. There goes that. So we explore into Gracer. And I guess I just play the Valakut here. Token is probably not going to be relevant because my opponent is going to leave it in and I'm going to get an Amulet into play, so um, holding on to the Bounce Land is better. Hey! Would you look at that? Would you look at that? One, two, three, four, five. So I can't play out this saga, unfortunately. Just have to do this thing where I play my 6-6 six, six and I haste it. My opponent's gonna leave it in, they're gonna put some dudes into play. Looking for subtlety, I assume. And they found it. So if they have violent adverse, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. They totally have violent adverse. Fuck. I guess I can't beat Dwell in Edward, so I should not play around it. I can't beat the card, so I should not play around it. <laughs> they subtlety, yeah, okay, cool. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Bring them endurances. Bring that Pajuki bug. Cut the explosives. This doesn't really do anything. Neither do any of these cards. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna cut Cavern of Souls because they don't have counter magic. Sh 
Show them what is the true blow or elemental. That's what we're hoping. It's not a keepable hand. I guess that one is, but it doesn't make me happy to keep. Well, we have to make sure that we can pay for the for the pact. So there we go. Sergio with the prime sub, coming back for 25 months. Thank you so much, Sergio. Welcome back to the prime time stronghold. Who did it for this meme deck? It was me. It was me. I donated my time. Just, just play a shardless agent opponent, okay? Don't have the nuts again, please. Don't subtlety me, bro. Don't subtlety me, bro. Fuck, man. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I, I couldn't beat that hand, so... Whatever, I didn't even want to win anyway. See you for the next round. Round number three. Let's see if we can catch a break. This is a good hand. This is a good hand. In before I'm paired against Ponsa. Can you tempt me with dono money? When have you ever not been able to tempt me with dono money stabs? Ursus mine, yeah, we can beat Ursus mine. We can indeed beat Ursus mine into chromatic sphere. Opponent is brave. Opponent is brave. Tron is still unplayable, right? We're more gonna do you do just quick math to see what turn you guys taking. Yes. And I also analyze, I mean, at this point, all of this just, I just do it automatically, but like I made a, I made a video. If you go to YouTube uh, and you Google how to mulligan with Amulet Titan, you're going to see a, like a in-depth explanation of my, of my process. So what we want to do here is we bounce. Yeah. So we're going to bounce this, replay this, 
display prime time, we're going to get Valakut and Stronghold attack. Then you get Valakut plus fetch, and that's lethal. And we're playing against an unplayable deck, so... I don't really have that many cards against them because we don't really need them. Sand doesn't beat Tron. This one potentially can be drawn, so I think we ship the explorer. Now that we drew another bounce land, we can develop mana, which is nice. Particularly because my opponent is going to card me next turn. So we play that, we get to play Castle, pass the turn. And now we have two looks at finding a Primeval Titan. I guess my opponent could also just make the correct play and they uh, blow up either my Amulet or the Sanctuary, but I think they're going to blow up my Dryad. Oh, okay. They did go with the correct play. Prime time. Okay, so I guess we're going to lose. Losing sucks. Hate losing. I hate losing. I guess if they don't have an either an answer for the dryad and I, f I find the titan off the top, we actually win. But I think they're gonna have Ulamog because they're playing Tron, right? They don't have Ulamog? What is my opponent doing? Like, why would they not have turn 3 card into turn 4 Nulamog? What are they even doing? Oh, they can just cast 2 again? Yeah, sure. So I guess Titan does stuff. I don't think I want to change anything. Maybe I should be uh, cutting the force. No, I don't think so. This hand is obviously bad against nature's claim, but it's very good otherwise. You can go turn one Saga, turn two Saga, it's a turn four kill on the play. <laughs> Opponent move to four, because this card doesn't do anything whatsoever. That's really funny. Why? 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 They think Dryad matters in the matchup? Is that is that why? I guess my opponent is not experienced with the matchup or something. Just to not die to Valakut? Yeah, but like the card is irrelevant. Like Valakut is not how the game ends. This is how the game ends. And they kept a one lander because of it. So float a mana from the one that's about to die. If 
find my amulet play this Asusa play this and this develop my man a little bit make a dude because why not external woman Sounds about right. See you for the next round. Round number four is here. Looking, looking to get my money back. I need my money. This is this hand is what I would consider risque. But I am no coward. This hand is risque, but I am no coward. I guess I should have been a coward, huh? Bye bye, explore. Hmm. I love that the, the record tracker is actually updated. Sweet. When I was watching Spike earlier, uh, the record tracker was was that was that. Yeah, I can definitely block warriors here. Um uh, fine top deck, particularly because my opponent doesn't know about it. So I'm just going to play all the cards that my opponent knows about, and then I'm going to pass the turn, and then I'm going to just do this. Damn it! Titan off the top, easy win. Primeval Titan off the top, easy win. Saga's not terrible, actually. We're probably playing against a Shadow deck, I would say. Never mind, we're not playing against a Shadow deck. This map, I'm just playing Control. Control combo? What are you up to over there, opponent? I was not expecting that, I'll tell you. Discarding Jay's the Mile Sculptor. All right. So my opponent is playing a deck from like 2006. I guess a deck that was good in 2006. Pitching Snapcaster, okay. Four mana, Jace the Mind Sculptor. They have to plus. They have to plus or they're throwing away, Jace. Plus on themselves. Okay. Only enough Boris Garrison would be a fine draw. Definitely going to Jace. Now, if we want to, we can crack map on end step. 
Opponent can minus, we pitch the Gracer, they can plus, we just pitch the Brilliant Pool, no big deal. They brainstorm. It's kind of scary, but we're gonna we're probably gonna go find. I guess it's kind of awkward, huh? We could go find board. I think we just gotta find another saga. Charles Agent into Goif. All right. They can empty their hand, another Goif. Uh, I guess explode. If they play a second Goif, then explosives wins. Trophy my land. Sure. Lily plus now. <clears throat> so I guess I have to crack expedition map for uh, for bounce land, right? So I just have to make Titan into a lethal top deck. Gracias. It's the only way to make Titan castable. Titan. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. Maybe my opponent will get greedy with a Lily Minus with the ultimate and they will plus instead. If they plus, then I have a shot. If they minus, I think I'm, I'm gonna be in tough shape. Okay. Interesting split. They really want to get rid of my growth chambers. Liliana kind of got me there. She did a lot of work. Take seven. Nothing to do here. Mm. They plussed on me. Maybe that was a reason to to play the foothills. 
Prime time. Saga. Okay. They have to have minus to prime. Uh, they have to have. Uh, oh, that's lethal. Never mind. Okay. Okay. So explosives is good. Bog is fine. We probably want cavern of souls. We can't get sun home. We definitely want needle. Don't really want gracers. Endurance seems very good. Tracker seems medium to okay. And explore is excellent. We can probably shave an amulet. And I want to cut a land. Probably a fetch. Excellent hand. Skip it. I like that we get to play Saga on one and we get around my opponent Sashiok. His hand's very good. Do we even want a fast amulet anyway? I mean, I guess I'm going to be using my mana, so yeah, I guess I, I do want a fast amulet. As long as I don't get shadowed out it here, I think we're gonna be good. Pick your poison. My body has mismatch in Inquisition's gross. Why does Ghost like have so many arms? It's not a, not a great top deck. There's definitely a, an argument there for Definitely an argument for um, there we go. Um, definitely an argument for uh, going for expedition map. <clears throat> This is bad against Thoughtseize or Inquisition, but it's better against Liliana, I guess. Sure. Five, yeah. I guess I could have activated both. Name Jace the Mind Sculptor. Got an Ashiok. Now you made you made your Wait. What the hell? Oh shit, I did not know that worked that way. Well, we're in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble now. 
Um, yikes! <laughs> okay. I can kill the Ashiok. But I get nothing? I really don't think I have a better play anyways. I don't think I have a better play anyways, so... So we're trading Primeval Titan for... For my opponent's prime time, and we do get to kill Ashiok. If my opponent does have, yeah, okay. So I guess they have an answer to the for the Titan, which is terrible for us. If they have like a trophy or something in hand, if they don't have an answer for the prime time, then they just made a huge mistake. But I'm, I'm assuming that they do. It can't be Jace. Liliana is not really an answer unless they also have Fatal Push. Okay. No blocks. I'll take six. Trophy or bust, show me that Assassin's Trophy, they have it. Uh, that sucks. Surgical Extraction. I think that means we're dead. So we can draw Boris Garrison into Endurance. If we draw Garrison into Endurance, my opponent has nothing we can win. That's not Okay. Wow. I was not aware of the interaction between Void Walker and Ashiok. That's uh, that's very interesting. It's very, very cool. Alright. Let's see if that's wrong. Alright. That's wrong. On the play. This hand has a lot to like. I'm gonna keep it. So, the reason I'm keeping this hand is because any Titan is a good draw, any... Uh, I, mean, I mean, any Titan just wins the game. And then any... Um, Tolari West also is a Titan. Prismatic ending, well... I like that. I do like that. Stoneforge. I don't like that. <laughs> is this just kind monkey? Or is this just blue white? Stoneforge. Do you know how bad the Tyrus would be in a pedestal road? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know how. I haven't stayed um, on top of the market, you know. Maybe prices have changed. What's up, Adrian? How's it going?
here's a dude. Here's another dude. I mean, we are winning this race fairly easily. Unless my opponent has something. So they probably have snake. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit harder to race. How about a prime time off the top? How about a primeval titan off the top, shall we? Another blank. All right, all right, all right. Um, here's ten damages. can equip we are dead um, probably green white what do you got for green white yeah my mom's great uh, that's lethal all right you got me so, Bant Blade. We want that, we want these. Don't want Bog. Explosives is okay, but not amazing. Tracker is okay, but no, not amazing. Broken wings. Do we want endurance? I don't think we want endurance. I think this is what we want. Super mid rangey hand. It was my main plan against black green Asmo. Uh, Piding needle Asmo, kill Asmo, win very easily. That's the plan. Dismember this shit. Uh, I don't think I do. I have ending. Tracker. And 
the stupid hierarchs are beating down a little bit, I gotta say. I kind of should probably not be in their deck, huh? I mean, that's cute, but... I have so many cards from different mana costs. Oh, this must be this must be sp um, Spike's list. Yeah. Okay, so it is just Spike's list. No blocking, so I might as well attack. Well, I guess I should have done this here. I should have done this in response to my opponent's uh, hierarch triggers. Because now they get to attack with Noble Hark. Oh, I'll, I'll take that for sure. Well, good thing I didn't do that then. So my opponent would have been able to save their dude. What's up? Daddy's home, baby. Daddy is home. What about one card? No two. Yep, sounds all right. Got him. Game three. I'm trying to think whether that guy makes me change my plan. I think that not really, huh? I don't think Endurance is necessarily good. Gracer gets a little bit better because he chomps. Maybe Foundation Breaker is okay as a one-off. I guess I'd rather... No, yeah, F Foundation Breaker I guess could be fine. Maybe over Impact. Dravoka's command is wild though. Can I keep this because I'm gonna copy my opponent's green source on turn one? You like Gracer? I actively don't like Gracer. Okay, I guess we're doing that. No turn two Stoneforge is big. No turn two Stoneforge is, is big. Big stuff. No Dromokos command in response, also good stuff for us. Um, huh. I think they have Snick. Do I just want to? Do I want to play another saga? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna go growth chamber, bounce my breeding pool, because I think that the saga tokens are gonna matter. Is the mic doing noises? Uh, no, it could be my AC over there. 
It's not, it's not uh, near, but the AC is pretty loud. Uh, okay. Yeah, now it's now it's over. Explore. Maybe this time around I should have done like Saga Vesuva instead of doing this. Because if my opponent has another uh, Tromocus command, that could be a problem. <clears throat> Death touching dudes. Kataki. Kataki, really? Why Kataki? Prime time? Question mark? Sweet. Garrison Stronghold. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They got path? They don't have path. Okay. Good to know. Boom. Not particularly close to dying. So I think I'm gonna get... My opponent doesn't wanna let me choose. All right, sweet. Um, that deck looked very underpowered, actually. Like, the green card just seemed much worse than just playing Monkey and just playing a bunch of counter spells. Uh, okay, we got kind of rolled over this, this league, but like I built the deck with a deck in mind and we just never saw that deck, so I'm not too surprised about the fact that that happened. So we're going to be running back, we're going to see maybe we get a little bit luckier, maybe we hit some matchups like the ones that we're trying to test against, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of a of more interactive, more interesting matches. If you enjoyed this though, make sure that you check out the next video first of all. And second of all, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next league. Take care, bye bye.